The All Blacks under a little bit of pressure. They, South Africa managed to do it. They scored three tries, early tries. I mean, in, in simple facts, and it doesn't always mean anything, but it's, you know, the last time that Argentina beat New Zealand was in Singapore in 2006. And, uh, you know, some of them have played them time and again and have never been on the winning side. In fact, I don't think there's anyone here who has played from Argentina who has beaten them. No, there hasn't. Maybe Brazoni might have been. Not sure I should have looked. But if so, he's the only one. <laughs> yeah. Not that very many people do beat them. <laughs> no, the hard side to beat over the last well, 10 or 12, 20, 100 years. <laughs> exactly. Pick a number. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're a hard team to beat. <laughs> they are. Yesterday, though, they had quite a battle with uh, the USA at the beginning and Canada. Well, it was 28-21. And then, of course, they lost to South Africa, who were outstanding yesterday. And uh, South Africa against Fiji is going to be the next cup semi-final. This one is going to be New Zealand, Argentina. We'll play Australia or Kenya. And here's a chance here now. Bit of pace with Cordero. He's the 18-year-old, just come in. Can he control it? It's all where the ball bounces. There is the follow-up. I think that's the try. Yeah, it's been given. No, not yet. Yeah. Oh, is it yeah. going to be decided? I think it was uh, Passman who followed up. I'll come back to you They're now. confident. Rasta. I think Passman gets it here. Now, referee. There's Cordero. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not. It's actually... Uh, yes, it was. Yes. Anything from your side? I think 11 black. Yeah, it's it was... Uh, you mean it was Passman, was it? Uh, yeah, it's, it's Moroni who's come on as a replacement. 11 at the last minute before... Uh, yeah, it is. It's, it's Matthias Moroni. Just the penalty. But not given. Penalty so. to New Zealand. He said that um, I'm going for the ball, New Zealand player was obstructed. My goodness me. Wow. I thought Maroney had got it. Yeah, he was just the last change on the lineup. Not just Maroney. That was a close one there. Let's have a look. Um, here we points. can see the battle for the ball. Gee, oh, yes. It's a little bit like. So who's done what there? Yeah, it was just a ding-dong battle for the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bit cruel. In the hands now of Gaston Rival. Oh, he's done well. well. Fast now. He could have the passes. Raikambula to beat. Well, I think he should have stayed out wide, but he had the pace to get by Raikambula. I would have thought there. Certainly starting with the... Well, Greyhounds out of the trap, aren't they? Here they come now with Facundo Regrido. Garrido inside the 22, all the ball in the Puma's hands. Here's the new guy again, Moroni. Cordero, 18, oh, he's kicked it too far. Difficult. Hassle there by Was Tim Mickelson. Sorry? Touch in ball. What do you want? 22? 22 or scrum? Scrum or 22, that's the call. Okay, yeah, let's go, scrum. It was kicked dead in goal, so yeah. New Zealand get the option to elect the scrum or back to the 22. They take the scrum. Under a little bit of pressure here. Argentina Absolutely. out of the box. Absolutely. Hard and fast at New Zealand as you want them to be. They're a little bit, a little bit rattled. Catch. New Zealand. We'll see how they Sit. respond here. It's Marcy Thama. Number right, Kambula to Mickelson. And the pressure there, really uh, out of the trap, certainly Argentina this time. Yopu Yopu. Well, I think Coach Andres Romagnoli has got them uh, in the right frame of mind. Pressure here on Lamert, behind his line, he's going to concede, surely a five-metre scrum. Yes. Five-metre scrum. Five-metre scrum. Well, well, the pressure's on. My goodness, this is another look, isn't it, from Argentina. Haven't seen them quite so uh, inspired as they have at the moment. They really are going for it. I'm sure they sent, uh, here's a rare chance of beating New Zealand. But they haven't scored yet. Uh, think about the short side here, if I can get a little skirt down there. Yeah. 
tried for it, but that was a good follow-up there by Tomasa Sama. Cordero. Well done. Oof. But too late. Now you had it. You did have it. You did have it. Brizzoni, the captain. Moroni. In the hands now of Morello. Morello. Oh, gets to Mickelson. Now danger time. Mickelson so difficult to hold. Has long legs. Coming away now is William Spears. William Spears chased by Cordero. First time New Zealand have it. They get the first score. Yes, Cadero had an opportunity probably to close that space and make Spears take, or at least make Spears do something with the ball. Here it is, that little intercept, critical. Yeah, absolutely, from Morello, gave it away. And here's Spears, and covers coming across. Never ever made him make a decision, just let him run to the, yeah, to the corner flag. He's pretty quick, isn't he, Red? Yeah, but I thought Cadero could have closed the space and at least gone for the tackle. Then you've got to make a pass. Sometimes that pass can go to ground. Anyway, the try scored. Well, it took uh, six minutes for one to be scored by either team. It was New Zealand against the uh, possession. Really dominated Argentina in the New Zealand half. But that's typical New Zealand, you know. How often do they score? A try just before the half time. Yeah. Extraordinary so. Well, they, they held him, they defended well. They did. I still think Argentina are a bit unlucky at that decision early on when yeah. I thought Moroni had really scored that one. Don't think there was obstruction. Agreed. Morello in the hands of Garrido. A bit offside there, I thought, Lamert. Gaston Revol. That's a seven-minute uh, hooter. Garrido again. No! He's offside. Side entry. Side entry. Friendly. Brizzoni. Now it's over. Possible overlap here. Oh, not the best part. It's kind. It's gone into the hands of Cadero. Cadero against Slama. Cadero. Should he not have stayed on the outside? He's got the pace and there's still a, still a chance here. New Zealand scrapping in defence and oh. keeping them out. Just need to pass to the right or oh, it's slowed down. Don't be slow. Oh, Cadero again. He's got oh, it. He's got it. He deserved it. <laughs> well, they, made it they made it more difficult than it might have been. Oh, they're scrappers, though, Argentina, Absolutely, aren't they? Absolutely, yeah. The Terriers, aren't they? Oh, they they're are. in your face. Really good. Nice little, nice little play here. <laughs> I think he might have been a penalty try if he hadn't got one. Yeah. Because he did actually get obstructed, didn't he, by uh, Tathama here. I think he does grab him. Look, there you go. Yeah. Anyway, the 18-year-old gets his third try in this tournament. Player who's... Uh, come out of the Argentinian under-20s this season and it's a, it's a great contest it's five all at the moment this for the lead is good so half time terrific first seven minutes and Argentina for once are leading at the break against New Zealand seven points from five and it's seven minutes to play for a place for Argentina to get into a cup semi-final was it Dubai 2011 that was the last time they made that taken by Yopu Yopu away by Mickelson into the hands of Lotte Raikambula the man who started out as a sevens player see, playing in the park in a sort of pick-up game and just happened to be seen by Gordon Titchens and now he's in his 51st sevens tournament there's one of the new boys, Lamet. Parts it on. He's an old experienced man. In... He's so difficult, isn't he? He's so long, lanky. And how many times does he pirouette through attempted tackles? Lottie Raikambula again. So many uh, big names from Sems not available. So many missing. But they're still useful, aren't they? And here's Mickelson again. Wide out here to William Spears. Couldn't pass it. The man was in front of him. 
controlled himself well there. Sama throws it away, doesn't matter, goes loose. But what? A penalty. Yes. Entry at the breakdown and maybe grabbing the halfback as well, Tomasi Sama. A hand put on him as he referees have to have eyes in all parts of their head. Oh, right chance. away quickly by DJ Forbes. Could be a run forward. in here for Lamert. Uh, no, it went forward. It went forward. Well, just saying, referees have got to see everything. And Basivengi uh, is really good at this. He's called it. Obviously, that's a forward pass, but Argentina weren't back the 10 from the penalty, so comes back to the field where the point where they were original, offside. Original. Yes, should be the original point, I would have thought. But take it from the middle of the field. Probably suits the All Blacks. Born in Fiji. Nati Raikambula. Same with this guy, Thama. Player of the season last year. With Mickelson again. DJ Forbes, he likes scoring. He's not got another. 104th. So he's actually scored two tries in every tournament on average. Over a half century tournament, this man here. Yeah, that's why I played on Bronx in the bit. Yeah. Yeah, nice finish there from DJ. The beard's off today. Yesterday yeah. he had the big full. That's why, that's why he knew he had to sort of get a bit more pace. Took off the beard and. I thought, I'm going, I've got to score now. I'm quick. I don't think there's anyone in the world who can grow a beard as quick as him. There's only about four weeks between the tournament. Each time he turns up with a massive beard. Yeah, maybe they're stuck on. Could be. Next time I see him, I'll <laughs> give it a tug. <laughs> see if it comes off. Nine. Well, what a game. 12-7. New Zealand. Take the lead. Time back on. Replacement for Argentina. Hannibal Garrido. Well, if he's anything like Hannibal, he'll he'll be in the battle. Newcomer, 23-year-old from Cordoba, up country in Argentina. Justin Raval. Lucas de Vicenzi. It was a tackle, then you came from the side. Yes, but you came side. from the side. He bit the rugby. Tension out there now. Zealand, who made the final here last year. Losing out in a terrific final against Fiji. Well, Argentina. Yeah, the ruck beat him and he came straight from the last side. Last one, a title. Then he'd been cup titles twice for them San Diego 2009 this would be a tremendous step up for Andres Romagnoli the new coach to get into the semi good take that was by the new man who just come on Annabel Garrido oh dear oh dear vital moment little little knock on from Brazzoni there was real attack there. Well, he was moving to Brazzoni. There was a great little chance on the edge of the line there. Really caught, got the jump on New Zealand off that line out. Time back on. Critical. Seven seasons he's played. He'll rue perhaps that very moment if they lose this cup quarter final. Pressure on. Offside. offside, yeah. Line too offside. soon. Mickelson eats up the ground. Manages to offload it to Thama. Little magician, isn't he? Got wonderful focus. Wonderful nous of sevens. Mickelson again. Too good. To Atungaloa. Coming on now, it's Rakimbula. Yeah, it's good, no hands. Don't use Gordon your hands. Kitchen's experience for the newcomers. You kicked it from the side. Number five. We're down to a minute and a half to go, and only one score between them. But New Zealand have that five point advantage. I won't hurry. Tomasi Thama. 
He's going to waste about 30 seconds by putting it into touch, ticking down the clock. What a player, 31 year old, started out seven years ago in Singapore. And of course, learnt it all, well, got all the genes from his dad, who was one of the stars of the Fijian Sevens in Hong Kong. Born in Suva. Five Last years. year's player of the season of the IRB. Oh, it's over the top and a chance. Nice flip off to De Vicenzi. What's oh, wrong? Oh, dear. Little knock on. Oh, no. They've just crawled themselves in the last minute and a half. Oh, Two knock on. Goodness me. You feel for them. Little play. There it is. Just that little knock on. They were away. Three guys going around the corner. Two still out there. So, five on three. Look at that. Five errors and no two that you've mentioned were both critical Taking the angle and now it's a penalty and now they're going to just kick it into touch it's all over an yep. extraordinary argentina will rue those few moments those few little errors that cost them a win over new zealand something which they haven't experienced since six years ago 12-7 and New Zealand, well, they have this confidence and this ability to uh, seize them out, even if they're not at top level, which they weren't here. But they've gone through. And that guy, well, I always think he's sort of understated.